Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ryan and Paul from Resell CMY. We got a little bit of a different type of video for you today. We're actually on our way from where we live in the middle of uh, central New York on our way down to Scranton, Pennsylvania area. Uh, a little over two hour drive. We're looking at a big collection. We already have a thousand dollars worth of the deal done. A bunch of Hot Wheels, slot cars, slot cars old yeah, old toys, Star Trek toys, Transformer toys. Um, we already are into it for a, a 1000 but the original plan was we were going to meet them halfway Which for that. Here, really? Yeah. We were going to meet them halfway and uh, ended up being that they kept pulling out more and more boxes of stuff and they said, listen, we're willing to come all the way down. So we got invited all the way down. We're going to go down there. We're going to spend a few hours picking through stuff, loading up the truck. Hopefully we can spend thousands um, I did bring 5,000 with us just in case. Um, you never know what you're going to run into and the last thing you want to do is not have the available funds. Uh, we do have the trailer behind the, us. Uh, we're in Paul's truck. We also have eight large, huge, those big long totes. Uh, what are they? Like 60 gallons? Oh, uh, 60 gallons. Yeah, 60 gallon totes. Uh, we just got a message from that guy now. Hopefully he's not canceling. Yeah, 9.45 a.m. we're gonna get there it says um, on the back half of this video you're also gonna see me pulling orders from this morning I was out in the shop by like I don't know quarter of six or so filmed uh, pulling some orders there's a cop right there um, film pulling some orders and uh, we're also in between this intro and that part of the video, uh, hopefully I'll show you a haul from this from this uh, pick right now. So I just wanted to stop in real quick while we're driving down there and give you an intro. Stay tuned for a haul video from what we just bought and orders that I just shipped out today. So, all right, we're uh, how much? We're like 30 minutes out. There's the Pennsylvania sign right there. Not much longer to go. All right, hey, we're back. This is actually gonna be Monday morning. So what you just watched was us driving down on Friday. This is our first chance to actually go over the haul video. Kind of set it up a little bit. You're not gonna be able to see, you know, even half of the stuff in this video, but we're gonna give you a kind of a general idea. Um, let, I'm gonna call it $1,600 because we did spend another $600, but it was on stuff that's not for eBay. Um, I'll show you just real quick the ones we can show you. There's two right here. We got a single shot 12 gauge and a uh, single shot 410 shotgun there. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with all those right now. Probably personal slash sell. Uh, we are gonna go up to the gun shop at some point and, and uh, get see, info. yeah, get some info from my neighbor. Um, but $1,600 was for eBay resale. We are gonna call it the Nova buy. Uh, that was the puppy that they bought, and they were trying to recoup the funds from buying the puppy. So it's going to be the Nova Buy. So from now on, anytime you hear us say this was from the Nova Buy, this is going to be the one right here. Um, we'll go over there in a second. I'll show you this part of the deal just because it's over on Paul's desk already. Uh, Paul, you want to just talk yeah, about that? I haven't quick? looked at much of this stuff, honestly, because I haven't been here all weekend. We picked it up Friday, dropped it off. But. This looks to be a bunch of carded slot cars, actually. At least a couple of them are slot cars. I see Thunder Jets right here. These are slot cars. And what um, years are those? These look newer. Like Johnny Lightning. 90s or something? Um, even 2000s, maybe. Not sure. I haven't even looked at them yet. Well, there's a ton of this type of stuff. This wasn't the main part. The main part's going to be yeah, in know. that right there. Just so a bunch of carded uh, new die casts, obviously. Uh, I don't know anything about these. I haven't even looked any of them up. This was what interested me when she sent a picture. I instantly offered more money. Ryan and I have come across slot car collections before in the huge numbers. These things usually pull pretty good money, even broken or pieces. These ones actually look very old to me compared to most. Yeah. Some of them we've definitely had before. I've had these before, and those that are one. that's a $60 car, I think. Just from memory. Yeah. 
There's I'm just a fifty dollar car from memory. There's two of them. Yeah, there's gonna be some. We have to check them, test them. I mean, obviously my memory could be jogged. It's been a year and a half since we've sold these, so the prices obviously on collectibles go up and down. But I think these are still a hot item, and people are still collecting them. So oh, yeah, I'll do definitely. a short later on these. We'll show how I test them real quick and how I get one up and listed. I can probably do it all in one minute and show you guys a short on these slot cars. Didn't you count like over 50? 56 bodies. I don't know about full cars. Yeah. In the pictures, there's 56 bodies in here. And then there's just one more box over there that has like... It looks like a bunch of uh, just random. new Matchbox stuff here. These yeah. are all Matchbox cars. So... We're not like trying to glamorize these at all, but they, you know, will contribute to the funds. There's, there's Kabas. Uh, just chalk outline him real quick. <clears throat> all right, here's gonna be the bulk of the buy though. I'll come back to all of this stuff. I wanted to show um, just it in its entirety. So it's gonna be that case on top. One, two, three, four, five, six of these big totes. Uh, that green tote has some stuff in it. Um, these boxes right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cases. Just in those seven cases, there is like 525 um, new on card Hot Wheels. So we're aware that these aren't like giant money, but just the volume of it, it's 525. Um, I'm not going to open up every single box, but they're all packed just like this. Each box has between 72 and 79 um you can see they wrote 75 on this one those seven cases 525 of those there is some other stuff in here there was some star trek um little toys uh there was some power ranger stuff uh, yeah is it power rangers or transformers power rangers oh okay Magazord. yeah yeah so that was a little bit after me growing up i remember my sister watching that stuff though um, so the bunch of different stuff like that, uh, right over here, just cause we're on the cars, that whole tote, that whole red tote is filled with Hot Wheels cars. And I would like to point out, um, I forgot what box had it. I don't know. I haven't seen any of the stuff. <laughs> I just dropped it off. Right yeah. Here. I kind of cluttered this up. I was just trying to organize, um, yeah, like right here, here's a red line. Here's a red line. They do have some condition issues and stuff. Here's a red line. We don't know how many there are. We do know there was a couple really good ones, like super clean. One was like over 75 bucks by yeah, itself, two right? two surfboards I've seen. That one's supposed to be super clean. That one's yeah. good too. I haven't seen it since we bought yeah, it. Yeah, because there's pictures. so much. But this has all sorts of cases. There is like modern cases, but there is older stuff in there too. There's the dogs going crazy in the background. You can see just case after case after case. So we'll go through those pretty meticulously. Um, kind of just, uh, we're going to learn as we go here exactly what we have. So we're just going to kind of show. There's going to be a lot of this type of stuff. We got some coppers. <laughs> uh, copper collecting that day. We got old lamps. There is some Crocs. Some of the Crocs are cheap. We basically were grabbing everything. Um, here's we another. We agreed upon a price and then started grabbing stuff, so which made it nice. So we we grabbed everything after we agreed upon a price. Yeah, like there's like this. It's like dirty and stuff. But once we already had a price, we were grabbing everything we possibly could. I'm sure we'll be able to squeeze some money out of there. Um, I think that's the old pinball thing there. Williams Cyclone. They got it framed in wood. Lots of brass. Lots of copper. Um, this down here was filled with glass too. Uh, this is like all beer steins. Right here, there was like some Fenton glass. Um, these were actually pretty cool. These flower vases or whatever. I forgot what they were called exactly. Uh, old clock there. Probably just, it's just gonna be for parts. We got these end tables. We do have the uh, marble inlays. The marble inlays for these and these bottom of these totes somewhere. I don't know anything about those guys, honestly. So if you guys know anything about these, these look like solid brass, ornate end tables, Victorian era maybe, and they do have marble. This has a piece of circle marble, and this has two pieces of square marble that go in them. 
any information on those would be great. Even like a year or a uh, uh, what do we call it? An era of yeah. what they created that stuff. I grabbed it. I haven't seen anything super cool like that. And I think at a show or even the garage sale, someone's going to want that. That's cool for someone. Yeah, else. clearly it's not going to be eBay unless we just do local pickup or something. Um, like I said, we were grabbing everything. So here's just a bunch of old Burger King toys. There was some Pokemon stuff, um, some Dragon Ball Z ones. Some of them sell individually for, you know, seven, ten bucks. Um, the rest will just lot up. Uh, like I said, we're grabbing everything. There was some, these are old Goosebumps. Uh, they say they're limited edition illustrations and you can like stand them up. There was a whole bunch of these. Um, down here there was some 12 cent comics that they had all framed up. So I don't think those are anything super special but added to the deal. Here's a really cool piece. Um, this is an old Mahjong set. This is Bone and Bamboo. And I've sold these a few times before. I knew exactly what it was. It was one of the first things I grabbed there. I was like, this is probably going to be good. Yeah, I knew immediately what this was. Uh, I think with the condition of this one, maybe $100 to $175. I haven't inventoried it. Um, there's just a lot of pieces in here. Like I said, all bone. The case isn't that great, so that's kind of why I'm valuing it where I'm at. And I don't know about all the pieces. It even has like this little wood container that has dice in it. Really? Yeah. Um, these can go upwards of like three, four, five hundred dollars though if you have the right one. I bought one before for a dollar and sold it for over three hundred. This toe underneath it is just going to be all glass bottles and stuff. This one here has more toys, more there was some like just Hess truck type stuff. Um, that one down there has more Hess trucks. There was some Ninja Turtle toys and more stuff like this too. Uh, they just wanted all the toys gone right when we got there. What was it for like a hundred bucks? Yeah, all yeah. the toys, hundred bucks. Yeah, all the by, we don't mean the Matchbox cars. That was already done. All all the Hess trucks, those toys, the comics. Uh, there's another Hess truck thing over here. Right. Um, most of these will just go to the garage sale. There is some that are brand new in the box. And I think there might be stuff underneath there too that... Um, That's a surprise it, upon a surprise. Yeah, basically figuring out what we got as we go along as a Lord of the Rings thing. These totes are just loaded with Coppers. copper. There's silver on copper. Like I think this tray is silver on copper. Yep. Uh, there was a lot of silver on copper pieces. They're right here. Right here, these things were selling for really good money, weren't they? Yeah, I've seen, I looked a few up when I was there, and like a, one of them sold for like a hundred bucks or something, a bigger one. I was like, yeah. I'm grabbing all of these. Yeah. Um, there's a cool scale right there. We don't know about a lot of this stuff. Like like Paul was saying, once we had a price, um, and he was, a, we were like, we're just gonna load up a bunch of these totes for this much money. Uh, he's like, go ahead, and we're basically, every step of the way, just taking, we're like, we'll figure out exactly what we have later. Some of this stuff is going to be need, need to be cleaned heavy. There's yeah. Some of these totes have a really heavy smell of piss, just to be rodent honest. Piss. So, um, yeah, rodent piss. I should specify, because there's <laughs> a lot of different piss out there. Uh, yeah, some of this stuff, we have no idea. Um, there, I mean, there is cool pieces, though. Uh, I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised. There's a brass bird cage. Um, yeah, what's your overall take on this, Paul? I don't know much about this. It's a huge, gonna be a huge learning experience for us, but it's gonna be a good one because we do come across stuff like this at garage sales. And if we remember a few things or a few names from this stuff that are collectible, it's just more in our inventory and our bank of memory of what to grab at garage sales. I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised with some of this stuff. Some yeah. of it's going to be a couple hundred dollar pieces here and there. I have a feeling. And and just to give you a better breakdown of everything. So the 525 Hot Wheels, the 55 slot cars or whatever it was, all the Transformers and Star Trek toys. All the loose Hot Wheels. All, all, all the other, yeah, all the loose Hot Wheels, all those cases with the red lines and all that stuff. Um, and there was a few more other pieces in there. All that was already agreed upon that it was going to be a thousand dollars, and they were going to meet us halfway. 
So instead, what happened is we drove the rest of the way, which is probably another hour. Yeah, hour and five minutes. Yeah, hour or so. And all the other stuff besides that was 600 bucks. So, I mean, each of these totes, all the little Hess trucks, the end tables, the clocks, all the crocs over here, you know, all these candlesticks, all the brass, all that stuff was just another 600 bucks. Plus we spent 600 bucks on guns. Right. So we ended up spending 2,200 total. 1,600 is gonna be for eBay. Um, what has me most excited, Paul, yeah. about this deal is it's stuff we don't typically buy. Yeah, I mean, yes, we'll buy slot cars and Hot Wheels and toys, but there's gonna be so much, like we, we took a screenshot of just this and we were seeing big numbers on stuff. And like, we knew to buy Art Deco-y, you know, or brass, like unique looking things before, but we just don't even know what we got. There might be three pieces in here that pay the extra $600 by itself. And I'm pretty sure that will happen too. I got some to say. Uh, all you guys, this is how we source. You guys are going to thrift stores and stuff, but if Brian actually backs his camera up and takes a look at this inventory that we have from here to here, all the way around and all these 60 gallon totes full all the way over to here was $1,600. You, you guys are going to thrift stores and all this and I don't blame $100 of waste on a collection and stuff. This is the way to source. Ryan and I are gonna be listing both of us off of this for two months. Yeah. straight this is going to carry us over we're going to make a bunch of money on it this is the way to source i mean here's our inventory over there you can see we have stacked up inventory our main goal is to not run out of inventory and we're doing good at it and you need to find a few collections like this every year and it just keeps you going this is a couple months yeah and just without that 600 bucks i think right here alone we'll get 125 150 bucks yeah. back right there by itself we want to have a year's worth of listing on hand at any given point um, we'll take our time on this. Excited to kind of go through all this stuff. Um, what you're gonna see here, or at first let me say, let you, let, me, let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah, how do you um, think we did? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've asked about the G.I. Joe buy, the meth buy, uh, now we're asking about the Nova buy. Let us know what you think. You and think? and we, we're gonna keep track too. So we're gonna keep track. Um, like I said, Nova buy is gonna be separate. We'll probably give you an update every couple weeks or something like that but you're gonna see a lot of this stuff getting cleaned up listed um you're gonna see a lot of it on the shelves going forward let us know how you think we did stay tuned though because i did pull orders friday and that's gonna follow uh this part of the video so thank you guys very much thanks guys all right if you're still here you just watched the beginning part of the video hopefully that was us driving down to pennsylvania and then picking up that large deal um, I'm going to look way more tired than I did earlier in this video because it's before 6 o'clock in the morning. I need to come out here and ship these orders before we go down to Pennsylvania. So 10 orders for $575.21. So a nice day uh, leading into the weekend here. I'm going to get right to pulling orders here because i got to get this stuff done. i still got to go in and wake up my kids and get them ready for school. So, Well, they're old enough. I don't really get ready for school. I just say wake up and then I remind them seven different times that uh, <laughs> it's almost time for the bus to be here. So Dan's bookshelf, this is gonna be the first thing. This is gonna be a, sorry, I don't even have my phone ready or anything. I'm just trying to rush through this morning. Um, this is gonna be 1981 to 1982 football calendar, 17 action-packed months of football. I already pulled it out of the bookshelf here because I knew it was gonna take a while to find on there. Um, I'm still clicking on my stuff here. Just give me a second. And yeah, that's sold for $10 free shipping. Um, just some random thing that we had. It hasn't been used or anything. Uh, we'll put it in a vinyl mailer. We'll only make like three, four dollars on this, but it's something. It's out the door. We had it. Someone else can use it. Gotta love those vinyl mailers. We've been using those like crazy. D21, we got some bedding going out. There's Kabas, by the way. He's like, what the heck, you just woke me up early too. Uh, he definitely popped right up though to go flying out to the shop, so. Wham Suda. That's what it looks like right there. This is, 
I can't see it in the title. What is it? Um, it's a twin flat sheet, fitted sheet, and a one standard pillowcase. Nice Mickey Mouse pattern. Actually, Minnie Mouse is on there too. Uh, $30 plus shipping on that one. It's kind of a bulky one too. J10. Go over here. Got a G.I. Joe going out. It's going to be a carded one. It's going to be this one right here. 1990, no, 1991 G.I. Joe Wild Bill Mint on Card. This is uh, this is not one of the Fun School ones, so that's probably why it did a little bit better. I don't see Fun School written anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, fifty-seven dollars plus shipping on this one, so it's awesome. Let's see. All right, I already pulled this too because I wanted to make sure there was. I know there's more. There's actually one more than this, too. So I'm going to relist that one with new pictures. has like a price tag thing up here. These do all have notched covers because they were on sale back in the day. This is Steve Martin, like a comedy album. It is sealed still. This one sold for $13 free shipping. Um, I know we sold it once before. We have that one to relist. And after this one sells, we have one more. I just pulled this out to make sure I remembered to relist it at some point. I'm not going to do it this morning because I don't have enough time. Okay, you're going to have to look at a screenshot on this one, but this is an awesome, awesome poster. Actually, let me remember, we got a dinger. All right, so I remember this time. EE uh, -E, poster dinger. Let's see here. Ireland... Jones, don't know what that is. The doors, there it is, right there. Pink Floyd poster. So, you're gonna have to look at a screenshot right now. The vintage Pink Floyd, the wall, screaming heads poster. This is a black light poster, $120 plus shipping. Awesome sale, ready to ship too. That helps me out this morning. Let me get that out the door. 1A. Got it, the other Noid going out. Um, these ones for like, you know, these little, this is Domino's Pizza 1987, but as far as like, you know, uh, Happy Meals and uh, kids meal toys and all that, these Noids sell pretty good. $12 free shipping on this. Um, there's a lot of different styles of this and we just happened to pull two out of a toe. We've sold them many times before. $12 free shipping. All right, speaking of $12 free shipping, we had a Disney VHS go out. This is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Uh, brand new sealed VHS. Um, I did have to mention like the clamshell, the like in the corners is a little pulled in, like dented, but it is not punctured or anything. It still has the sticker on there. $12 free shipping. Uh, the box we slide these into, um, it still ships as a one pound media mail rate. I actually had someone buy these other two and they just canceled the order. So the first thing I did this morning was cancel an order for two of these. I'm going to set it out here because I'm pretty sure with the quantity listings, it doesn't offer us to relist the items. So I'm going to set it here. I'm going to double check that probably when I come back home and relist this one. So uh, I'll double check that double check that as well. Poster. This should be a fun one to pull one-handed. Actually, it won't be too bad. It's right here on top, so that's cool. Um, we have a giant stack of these. And every time... I only put a quantity of like five when we sell them. Um, I just try to make sure there's no little tears. Because some of them do have little tears. I mean, there's probably... 20 some posters there but like i said i only put a quantity of five i'm going to double check that there's no tears every single time this one looks good 1978 superman christopher reeve poster this is a free poster when you buy three safeguard products or one bounce or three comment or one spick and span it's kind of a unique collaboration there back in the day of how you get a poster 
Um, I'll roll that up, put that in another poster tube. That would be out the door. I actually put it in a little clear garbage bag and then in into a poster tube. D19. We'll give this another ding or two, even though it's an auction. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me do it again. All right. So D19, we had an auction going out. And we'll call this a dinger. I didn't do it in the other video um, just because it was a lot of items that got over $100. But 39 plus G.I. Joe figures. There's some weapons, some missiles in there. $138.50. That will be our last G.I. Joe auction to go out, at least for a while. Um, we have a ton of G.I. Joes listed. So if... Maybe in three months, four months, if uh, there's still a bunch of stragglers that are $9.99 free ship or anything like that, I might lot them all up and get those out the door. But for a while, that's going to be our last auction. And then we had a really nice sale go out. Not a dinger, but uh, Dan's E. Pretty cool, though. We sold this once or twice before. Uh, had it again. Knew it would be good. The Beatles gift set. Set of five ornaments. It does have a little tear in the package there, but it is brand new sealed. Um, they were never used. We opened it up, or Paul opened it up, took a bunch of pictures of it. $70 plus shipping. So kind of a surprise one there. Um, and that's going to be it for the orders. I'm going to leave this short. Hopefully enjoyed the first half of the video where we're driving down to Pennsylvania. And uh, I don't know why I'm explaining what it was, because if you watched it, you know exactly what it was. Uh, I just know at the time of filming this, we're pretty excited about the deal. So hopefully we got some good stuff to show you. I'm not going to, I don't plan on, I didn't plan on, let me stop again. At the time I'm filming this video, I don't plan on um, recording while we're there or anything like that. But I was going to get a clip of when we were driving down and then maybe a haul video for when we we're uh, back here. So hopefully it went great. Hopefully this time... 12 hours from now there's a big old pile of stuff there for us to list out of them thanks for watching everyone please comment like and subscribe if you haven't done already and we will see you in the next one take care say resell cny resell cny said please like and subscribe please like and subscribe <laughs> say thank you thank you and bye 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 guys right. thank you bye